What is going on, my fitness junkies? This is Kay Junker back with Fitness Junkie Training in another video for you. So we're gonna be talking about what training split is best for you. So over the last nine years as a fitness coach, training hundreds of individuals, I've you know trained different shapes and sizes and genders and um, ages and experience levels, all that type of stuff. And after working with so many different types of people, uh, I've learned what splits work best for who. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the different training splits and the pros and the cons of each of those. And by the end of the video, you're gonna be able to make an educated decision on which training split is best for you. All right, we're starting with the upper lower split. Okay, so a couple of the pros with the upper lower split is one, it's very scalable. So, you know, if you're a complete newbie and you're just getting started, I mean, you can do as little as two workouts per week. You can do an upper and you can do a lower. You're hitting all your muscle groups. You know, you can start as little as that. Um, but even if you're an advanced lifter, you can get all the way up to being able to do, you know, six workouts per week. You can do three uppers, two lowers at kind of the max end of this. Um, so it's very scalable. That's one pro. Uh, another pro is you get very good recovery and frequency. Okay, so you're, you're getting good recovery by you know, at least getting 48 hours um, between hitting muscle groups. So you're getting good re recovery um, with your muscle groups, but you're also getting good frequency, meaning you're, you're hitting your muscle groups multiple times per week. Unless you're you know, that, that complete newbie and you're only going two times a week, then you're, you're hitting your, your muscle groups one time a week each. Um, but most likely you're doing it more than that at the very least. I would honestly say like try to at least get an upper lower upper even if you're brand new um, and then you can at least you know hit your upper upper body muscle groups two times per week and get that frequency in um, a couple of the cons of this split for one it's potentially longer workouts so you know especially with upper body i mean lower body is always going to be a little bit longer but with with these upper body workouts you know if you're having to hit all of your different muscle groups um, you know, that might be a longer session just because you have to hit everything within that session, right? So potentially longer workouts. Um, I would say overall, this is kind of the bread and butter. This is maybe my favorite split. It's what I've kind of spent the most time on myself. It's what I typically kind of have the bread and butter of my clients stick to. Uh, but it's good for most experience levels at their scale, right? Like I said, you know, if, if we're getting a complete newbie on an upper lower split, we're probably going to start them off with like an upper lower upper. But if we've got an advanced lifter who's been lifting for a while, so if that's you and you've been lifting for a good amount of time, I mean, you can get all the way up to six times a week and hitting your upper body three times a week, lower body three times a week. So very scalable um, and whatever experience level you are at, this is potentially a good split for you. Next, we're gonna be talking about the push-pull leg split, the PPL, all right, push-pull legs. So some of the pros of this split is there's plenty of recovery between days, right? Between your muscle groups, you're getting at least like 72 hours between muscle groups. So plenty of recovery, so that's one pro. Um, it's fun, honestly. I, I think the push pull leg is one of the most fun splits. Like you can go in, like kind of get like chest and tries, back and buys. It's just it's just a fun mix up, um, and and you get really good pumps. Like if you're doing chest and tries, like you're gonna have an insane chest and tricep pump, back and buys. You got a good bicep and back pump when you go in. So you're getting good pumps. It's fun. So those are a couple of the pros. Uh, some potential cons. It's it's not very scalable at all. So like if you're a complete newbie and say you only got three days to play with to go to the gym or if you're just a busy person, right? And you're, you're like, I wanna try to maximize my time and I just have three days that I can play with with the gym. You know, it's not very scalable. Like you can't really go in and just do one push, one pull in one leg day within the week, right? So you basically have to at least be doing push, pull, leg, push, pull, five, five day a week split to get the most out of this split. Um, really, I mean, ideally six days. So it's more, I would say for advanced lifters in that aspect, uh, because you know, you, you want to be able to go like five, six times a week to get the most out of this one. Um, another con is, you know, you're kind of destroying your muscle groups on each of these days. So like if you're just doing chest and tries towards the end of that workout, right, you, you've hit those muscle groups so much, like maybe those last few exercises aren't as effective as 
maybe if you're doing up or lower and you're mixing up your muscle groups throughout the session. Okay, so you're basically like destroying your muscle groups within that session and kind of towards the end of those workouts, I would say the exercises aren't as effective as they could be. Okay, so that's a potential con. Like I said, not the best for newbies for some of these reasons um, and not great frequency per muscle group, right? So you basically have to be going six times a week to even hit your legs twice a week. Okay, so um, again, I would say better for intermediate to advanced lifters um, that have the time to make it in the gym um, and are trying to maybe hit different angles and bring up certain muscle groups. And now let's talk about the bro split, okay? So the bro split basically means you're going in, you're choosing one muscle group and you're hitting that each time you go into the gym, okay? So a couple of the pros, I mean, it's, it's really fun. It's fun to go in and just like annihilate your chest or have like an arm day and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's fun. You get great pumps for those muscle groups that you are hitting and you can really isolate certain areas and kind of hit a lot of different angles with different um, isolated exercises for those muscle groups. Um, so those are some of the pros. I would say some of the cons, it's not scalable at all, right? Like you, you, you can't really hit your muscle groups more than one time per week if you're splitting it up that much. So the scalability is not there. Um, you're getting no frequency per muscle group, right? You're basically hitting it one time per week. There's nothing else you can really do with that. So um, scalability is super low, very low frequency. And like I said, with the push pull legs, like you are completely annihilating these muscle groups towards, towards the end of the workout, right? If, say if you're hitting chest, like, you know, and you've already done bench, you've done incline dumbbells, you've done like, I don't know, like decline push-ups or something. And now you're getting to like pec flies. Like, man, th these sets aren't probably as effective as, as if you were splitting up your muscle groups a little bit more. So um, completely annihilating your muscle groups towards the end of the, the session, maybe not the most effective. Um, I would say with this split, you know, contrary to what people might think, because a lot of people start with this split, um, I would say it's best for pure bodybuilders and like it, very advanced lifters um, who maybe are really trying to target certain areas that are, they're trying to bring up. Like for me, I actually, I actually went on a bro split basically um, for a few months this past year, um, but I was trying to really bring up specific muscle groups that would bring up my physique. So I was trying to like really target my rear delts, my lats, uh, and it was good for bringing up some of these things. So I would say it's good for very advanced lifters or like pure bodybuilders trying to really fine tune their physique. All right, next we're gonna be talking about the full body split. Okay, so full body split, some of the pros, very contrary to the bro split that I was just talking about, it's very scalable, right? You can have a complete newbie doing as little as two times a week, still hitting all their muscle groups, right? But you can go all the way up to very advanced lifters doing full body six times a week, right? So it's extremely scalable, great frequency, you know, cause you can have someone doing as little as the two times a week, still hitting all their muscle groups two times a week. And if you're an advanced lifter doing it six times a week, you could be having all your muscle groups being hit six times a week, which is amazing frequency. Okay, so very scalable, uh, very good frequency. Uh, I would say it's more flexible with whatever your schedule it is. So say, say you're kind of in the middle and you're hitting four uh, full body workouts per week, right? Even if you had a crazy week, you missed one or even two of those workouts, you still hit all your muscle groups two times per week. So it's a, it's a little bit more flexible with your schedule. That's another reason why I like the full body split, especially for like really busy, ambitious adults or something like that. So a few of the cons, um, it's potentially hard on your joints, especially if you're someone hitting it, you know, maybe five, six times per week. You know, if you're squatting or like doing leg workouts every single time during those sessions, you know, that, that's potentially hard on your knees and things like that. So it's a very, you want to take a very strategic approach to make sure that you're splitting it up as best you can and ha, kind of have different focuses for each of these full body workouts. So that's why I say it is, you know, sometimes if you're going more times per week, that's more for advanced lifters, but it's very scalable in that way. So another con, you, you have to kind of do more warming up and more stretching because, you know, as opposed to like an, an upper lower, you know, if you're going in and doing upper, you just have to warm up your upper body. And, you know, on a lower body session, obviously you warm up your lower body, but with these full body workouts, you really have to warm up everything every time and stretch everything each time. So it's a little bit more time that you gotta take to warm up and stretch. Um, 
you know, for, for that reason, and also just that you have to hit all your muscle groups, it could be longer sessions overall, kind of like the upper lower, even more so I would say. So, um, you know, if you're going six times a week, you can really shorten the volume on each workout and they're not that long, but say if you're going two or three times a week, these are probably gonna be pretty long sessions for you. So, like I said, this, this could be good for complete newbies all the way up to like extremely advanced lifters um, due to its scalability. It just matters how many times per week you're doing this split. Those are the main training splits and the pros and cons of each. And the thing is guys, they can all work when you stick to the program and you focus on progressive overload. The thing about these, like the split doesn't really matter that much when you're focusing 100% on those two things. All right, but hopefully now, you know, you can make an educated decision on what training split works best for you and your schedule and your experience level. Um, if this video was helpful, please like the damn video and subscribe for more fitness and personal development content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, elevate every damn day. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.